Welcome to our amazing journey. We are Greg and Julie and we've got our cat Nelly with us on our 33 foot sailing boat El Burro. Get ready for a trip filled with beautiful sunsets, clear blue waters and the exciting freedom of life at sea. Our YouTube series is an invitation for you to see the world from our perspective, sharing both the fun and challenges of living without being tied to the land. El Burro is more than just a boat, it's our floating home and we want you to be part of our sea loving family. Subscribe like and hit the bell to stay updated on our latest travels. We arrived in Belgium after a long flight, but before I get into that, let me tell you what happened before we got here. January brought strong winds to Crete, making the marina quite noisy and sometimes hard to endure. The weather also shifted, bringing a noticeable drop in temperature and increased rainfall to the island. Fortunately, not all days were bad, and we made the most of our last days in Agios Nicolaus. We had a nice night out enjoying Greek cuisine, together with a stray cat, which is a common sight in Greece. After our meal, we were treated to some raki and a free dessert. We also took care of some boat tasks. Greg put our windlass back together. And the good news is that it's working. I got a bit too excited and accidentally stopped filming in the midst of my enthusiasm. Whoops. We also ordered a new water separator bowl for the diesel filter, so that one is also fixed. I also kept myself busy by creating a ramp for our cat. Nelly used to jump onto and off the bed, so I made it more convenient for her. It took a bit of practice, but after a day she got the hang of it. And I applied a new coat of varnish to certain areas of the wood inside our boat, making it all shiny again. We spent a lot of time at Vogel lately, playing and cuddling with the cats that were still recovering there. January went by in a flash and before we realized it was time to prepare for our upcoming trip to Belgium, so we started packing our bags. And so it arrived, January 27th, the departure day. It was quite early and coffee was a must. Nelly was already aware of what awaited her. Checking and security went easy, so we had to wait. Nelly seemed pretty relaxed in her career and oddly enough, I appeared more stressed than her. The 
aerial view was breathtaking, flying over the Cycladas and recognizing the places where we had anchored with our boat. We had a layover in Athens. I ensured Nelly was still comfortable and afterwards spent some time working on my blog. Time passed quickly and suddenly we found ourselves landing in Belgium. We first stayed for a couple of days at Greg's mom's place, where Nelly will be staying for a month. She quickly felt right at home here. The next day was a calm Sunday and we went for a walk in Flanders fields. The sun was shining and we enjoyed the change of scenery. We'll be in Belgium now for a month to visit friends and family. To be continued. <laughs>